How's it going guys? Just reached level 98 on my Spectral Helix Deadeye. We've got a few things to do today. I want to work in the taming to my build. And then we're going to go hunt down some Maven Splinters and fight Maven. First, since these armor scraps and blacksmith's whetstones are dropping in such overwhelming abundance this league, it means that you no longer have to loot portal scrolls. Now, this might blow somebody's mind, but normally you could just, okay, vendor all these for wisdom scrolls, but you can go to any of the act vendors with all of those wisdom scrolls, since you have such a plentiful amount of them, you can buy portal scrolls for three wisdom scrolls each. And there you go. No more picking up portal scrolls just like that. So next, I got the third ring. So with a Barracks Respite, Barracks Grip, and Barracks Pass, if you vendor these all together, you get a unique Prismatic Ring, which is the Taming. All right, let's see. What did we get here? We got 28 resistances on it. That's pretty, that's good enough for me to be willing to not divine it. So let's bless it up. I have blessed orbs. 10%, okay. Catalysts. Enhances elemental damage modifiers on a ring. That's going to affect just the bottom two. We'll eventually be able to raise it up. So we want to replace this ring here. We take this ring and then we put minus seven mana cost of skills on this. Okay, so let's let's look. Like what does the damage look numbers look like? It says 619537. Let's say that it's 8,000 DPS. And if I had 50 three that's like what, like 15 percent more damage by putting this ring in but it costs on the life kind of sucks but we're going to fix that so what does this do to our resistances resistances are super solid now so much to the point where i like i can start thinking about finally replacing some of this other gear it's not as tied in anymore um so we can start upgrading elsewhere as possible what should we do next actually first i want to take this ring and i got a bunch of exalts dropped today as well as divines so i got seven exalts we're going to exalt this and hit some flat elemental damage okay we hit an extra little bit of rarity i'm okay with that too that's that's fine so we were at 53,000 on the tooltip DPS. So we can cut some damage, which I think what I want to take out is this elusive and attack speed with daggers. So this is 3% movement speed, 3% movement speed, 40% elusive effect, which is really good. And then uh, elusive gives another 40 crit multi, which is also really good. But removing this also I don't think is going to affect my tooltip dps no we're gonna rework some things here so that's five points now but here we've got one two three four five six points to get to this life with 30 strength along the way so i can remove 30 strength here and then come up here and grab that so that covered for the life damage is higher as I get 10% attack speed here. So like I'm picking up some extra along the way. Two more points away from crit chance. Another bit of int. I wonder how much int is needed. We need eight intelligence. So that point could be this point. But we need a point along the way. Do we have 5% life somewhere? Actually we could probably get away with taking off the regenerate 2% life while moving. There we go. A little bit of extra life. And it, it took out two of my passives that were into the just points there. If I really wanted this damage right here, I could put that back. I could take it out of the blind, but since I'm gonna try and level this build to 100, I'm gonna keep the blind for now. Eventually these points will get taken out for sure. 69,626. I mean, there's crit chance and multi right here as well. 
Well, I can't get rid of this because I want the more projectile speed. Those three points. That's calling strike. I think the blind is too good for me to let go. Anyways, I think I'm happy with that. That skill tree looks like it should do it. So next, we need to break down the Atlas passive tree. I've been doing some delve today because I was running out of scourings and chisels. So I was hoping I'd go down there, get a bunch, which I did. Got a bunch of chance orbs as well so that those pour into scourings. I'm trying to save my chaos so that when I'm running maps, I can, like on the final bit of the push, I can put abyss on every single one of the maps. Um, 99 to 100, so I'm trying to bank chaos. I've got like 52, 53 maps worth of chaos here. So, I guess what we need to do here, probably take these points out for now. Chance for Awaken Gym here. So I learned another thing, which I can even do on this invitation. So I stopped scouring and alking my maps. Instead, I've been putting my maps in here and using reforges. Um, this cold craft put monsters have a 20% chance to cause elemental ailments on hit on here. Now I want to probably put hybris or whatever it is. Yeah, I want to put that on there. So we we're going to double the effect of the modifiers here. But we want to roll this really nicely. This is extra cold. We could probably get away with. Less spell suppression is probably bad. Tim Chains, Fizz is cold, boss life. No, let's not give them more life right now. 100% chance to avoid ailments. It's not the worst either. Stealing my charges is bad. Shocked ground, Fizz is fire, ignites. 100% chance to avoid poison. Impale and bleed. I think this one will work. Is there anything else I need to do here? If I release them all at once, I get 25% more splinters. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, currently only have one splinter. Hopefully this will get it. I'm not sure, but we'll try. Taming went in way easier than I was expecting it to. Alright, and no more life recovery while moving. Is there any way that I could get that back. Probably take this all res out now because I got that so that I could be capped for Elliot until weakness, which I should be now. All res is touch low, but yeah, that's fine. All right, so we're releasing them all. Cannot be affected by elemental ailments. Oh, I'm cursed with Ellie weakness. Okay. Big Fizz is extra fire. Should be fine. didn't increase their life so oh no don't heal them yep and we've got this enemies near your marked enemy deal less damage from being a dead eye which is what's kept me alive like I've never leveled to a hundred on under 5k life before or not, I'm only at to 98 at this point, but still, it's weird. I feel like I feel like I'm a second away from death at any time. The evasion and the blind is working really well. There's a lot of attack damage in this fight. How did that hit me? So they, they have a 100% chance to avoid ailments, so I'm losing 60% damage because of that off of the taming for every freeze shock ignite on an enemy or i guess i wouldn't be freezing them but 
losing that 40% of damage because I'm not shocking and igniting. See, what does my elusive pop up to? It goes to like 183, maybe it said. It gets over 200 when I have the, when I have that elusive bonus. From those dagger nodes. Okay, last one. Oh, we're so close. There we go. Got it. Yeah, I'm gonna pick every single one of these items up. Not because I'm in some need for Elder items, but you can do a chaos recipe with elder or shaper items they have to all be the same um set but that will allow you to create exalted shards which seems nice all right and look at that i got nine crescent splinters that means we go into maven i've been looking forward to this for a couple days all right Again, like with Cirrus, I've never done this fight with Whirling Blades. Um, I'd probably be more comfortable if I just put the Frost Blink on my normal movement skill button that I have the Whirling Blades on. Um, but I do still have it for when needed. I'm trying to really get used to this setup. It's really nice for mapping, but should I wind up playing Spectral Helix during the Gauntlet, I, I imagine this is going to be part of the... Thing. We're going to make this less projectile speed as well for this fight. Here it's supposed to help with boss damage. Damage seems pretty okay to me for having just lowered it a little bit with the elusive. But I do that kind of thing a lot. Make a like I, I make a damage upgrade in one place so I supplement it elsewhere so that I'm like gaining on both ends. Alright, we got a Kitava. Exiles. So maybe for this part, maybe the extra projectile speed would probably be good. It looks like we probably got a Piety in here too. Okay. Now to the memory game nonsense. This should be good because we can move around this arena really fast. Memory games should be really easy. I get them all? No. Ancestral Warchief, totem down for 10% more attack speed. Further stacks with all of my Tailwind stacks and my haste stacking that I'm doing. And I have the Brittle Ground. Having the uh, slower projectiles forces me to get up close to the boss. That's something I'll, I'll give it. Now I get to see how the... Um, the laser beam phase goes. You call the nucleus too? No. 
Not up here, so. I'm so terrified of that. Okay. Can we? No. You cannot whirling blades across this beam. Oh, I made the first one easy, though. So I'm assuming you can't leech life if you get touched by that either. Nope. No life recovery. I'm so used to dodging that. Like, it's so free when you have spell suppression. In the normal fight. Oh yeah. Right up. Right up. Right up. So if it's the right one, the next one's always up. I don't, I don't know why it can't go, like all the different possibilities. But. If it goes right, the next one's always up. Yeah, I don't know how to maneuver the... Like, it's possible. Just need to be a little bit more precise with it. Touch the beam. Stand still. Pain. Oh, there I touched it again. It again. At least I'm not using a life tap on this. Not the worst. Okay. Without touching the beam. Very nice. This should be it. Yeah, give me that watchstone. What we got? Hmm. Awaken added fire damage. That's not useful. Elevated sex number of conflict and the void stone, though. Oh, and the belt. Arn's anguish. Okay. There we go. There's Maven. Down. And another passive point for this tree. I guess the big deal is this. Because this shifts all of my atlas up. I can get a new batch of T13, um, 14, 15 maps. I got, I got 44 T15 canyons right now. So now I can start getting T16 canyons and have these just there. I got 30 layers, 44 jungle valleys, 
That's, that's why I um, I pick a favorite for each of the tiers when you're when you don't have the watchstones, um, so you can have a nice little ramp of maps you're willing to do. Well, we got an awakened added fire. Should we ever need that? I I am doubting it at this point. So let's go on to the show and tell stuff for today. I got. Three six links, Kruri Mall, Saints Halberk, and Elegant Ringmail. So two armor ES bases and a Kruri Mall. All are pretty solid to have. All right, up next, got a fractured T1 dot multi on or on a tornado wand. That's something I craft off of even better there is the prefix fracture 22 rarity on a two stone ring of all things pretty nifty there i i killed another harvest boss and i got a bear's girdle um which has got me thinking about what i might do for my next build i think i might do something that uses this um i don't want to give that away just yet though was a Vault Temple map. This came out of a strong box. It's got Quant with 23 crit multi during flask effect. Pretty cool. And then I got two Essence Worms. I have been thinking about a mana build. If I were to make a mana build, Essence Worms are great as it gives you... Um, when I did Archmage Stormbrand, using an Essence Worm, you could get Wrath into the build. Um, without having it reserve any mana. Having two of them gives you even more options. You get a potential of a zealotry or something else in there. These big mana cost skills. So I've been thinking about that. And then Guff again with the massive belt. T1 Fire and Lightning with Cold Res and T2 Ellie with attacks. No life. Like that's twice now that's two like gg belts that have came out of that so really happy about that and now i gotta clean the mess up that i made today and i guess keep on pushing probably be my last video until i finish the 100 push though i don't know how necessary it is like that i need to push for it anymore I, I, I don't want to, like, make assumptions here, but competition had a character die at level 98, which is sad. You get just level 98 in hardcore, you're, you're pretty much got the character put together, so um, not another reroll out of them yet. And if they're not going to push any kind of ranger, then... Like, I already will, like, win this. Because I'm currently 102 points up with what I've already done. Um, getting this 100 would give me a few extra points. I don't think I'm going to get first. Because EGRC is going to probably get it. Yeah, they're playing. And with the Headhunter, they've been going at it. So, yeah, there's two other 99s. And then few people at the bottom of uh 98 so essentially i'm tied for fourth at the moment like a four-way tie for fourth but yeah i will keep pushing on this um next video will probably be once i get to level 100 unless something crazy happens um but yeah that's going to be it for me for today if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me if you'd like to help support my channel please consider using the super thanks the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member and yeah i'll see you on the next one cheers